Hey, how you doing, my legion of libation lovers and my uh, fellow food uh, fanatics? That's right, it is me, your Uncle Sugats, and we today, I think it's day drinking. Day drinking is live and in Technicolor, baby. Coming to you from the Funky Buddha Brewery over here in, uh, was it Oak, Oakland? Yeah, Oakland Park, Florida. Took a little road trip we did today, right? Uh, let's just share the uh, video and get everyone, of course, Jen's with me. She's right here. What's up, Christopher? Robin, we miss you, buddy. Um, just let me share the post. Uh, from now on, day drinking will be uh, here. Oh, now you can't see me. Oh, now you can. Okay. Oh, with my phone in front of me, you can't see me. So I'm not going to share the post. We'll just leave it for right now. Um, hmm? It what? keeps coming and going, the, the lighting. Yeah, if, if I bring my phone into the shot, it was making it really bright. Now it's not, so. Um, so let me just share the post. Man, I look like a giant at this angle. <laughs> Shit. Um, hold on one minute. Live. Oops. I'll worry about sharing it on uh, Twitter in a minute. Uh, there we go. Let's see if we get some other people watching. So yes, uh, um, uh, we took a little road trip from uh, the west coast of uh, the state over to the east coast to Oakland Park, uh, which is right outside of Lauderdale. Um, we're meeting up with some friends in a little while. But I wanted the reason for the trip is that I wanted to come over to the Funky Buddha Brewery. It's one of my favorite breweries. They make a bunch of beers that I absolutely love. You guys know from watching Day Drinking. Oh, yeah, by the way, Day Drinking from now on will be on the Eat Up Show uh, page as we uh, try to condense everything, streamline how we, how we do things. Um, so, oh no, the, sto the storm can't wash away the handsome. Come on, your uncle Stugatz has been through too much with this with this handsome face. Don't let a little a little Irma uh, uh, disrupt anything, right? So we drove over here. It's one of my favorite breweries. You guys know from watching Day Drinking that I must have reviewed about three or four different uh, beers by the Funky Buddha uh, Funky Buddha uh, Company. So we just decided to come on over here and have some uh, uh, lunch and have some beers. Uh, they have a beer out right now called Last Snow, which is my absolute favorite beer. It's almost not even fair for me to review it for you guys, but I'm very biased. It is delicious. It's a very limited run. Comes out twice a year, September and February, if I'm not mistaken. I always find it in like October and March, which makes sense because they make it here and then distribute it across the state. Um, like I said, it's my favorite beer. So I didn't want to review that today or for you guys, only because, like I said, I would be biased. So I'm going to be reviewing something today that I've never tasted before until, you know, today. Uh, because, you know, Oktoberfest is coming up. They had a big Oktoberfest event coming up here in the next uh, week or two. I got that Buddha Fest Marzen. And it is, uh, it's their Oktoberfest. It's 6.3% and it's an IBUS uh, rating of 20. And if you don't know, the IBUS is the International Bitterness Per Unit Scale. It measures how uh, bitter a uh, beer is. This is a 20, so it's not really high on it. Uh, like a 75, like an Imperial Porter would be, or an Imperial Stout. This is a, a little bit on the lower end, like a brown ale. Uh, and I'm going to bring it on into the shot here so you guys can see it. Oh, it is glorious, baby. And it is ice cold. Mmm. Mmm. Very, very light for a, uh, um, and crisp. Even for a, um, an Oktoberfest beer, which you only, you know, I always figured Oktoberfest beers are going to be heavy, almost like a stoutish. This is more of a brown ale to me, anyway. I taste that little bit of sweetness that you get in a, in a, like a Belgian brown. Mm. Ah, that is pretty damn good. Wow. Hey, Andrea. Um, this beer, I really don't know how long the brewery's been around for. I really don't pay attention. I just know they make every beer of theirs that I've had, I loved. I love the blueberry pie. I love the, uh, we reviewed the, uh, what was the pineapple one? It's on the back of the coaster, I think. Oh, the pineapple beach, you guys remember, I reviewed the pi pineapple beach. Right back in the uh, springtime, uh, early summer. And we loved it, right? And I don't think I've had any of their beers that I did not like. Um, which, you know, hence we came over here and we, look, they even have like, you know, like glasses that fit the Uncle Sugats, right? Because you know, that's what I love. Uh, hi. Oh, everything's great. Yes, thank you. And the service. What's your name, ma'am? Gina. Gina. Waitress Gina. She's awesome. She's going to hook you up when you come in here. And, you know, you make sure you tip her, you know. Don't be a cheapskate, you fucks. What he's doing? He's got to take care of the waitresses. They break their asses to keep us drunk and happy, right? Um, 
yeah, everything here is just absolutely great. They make their own potato chips just to do a little, like, show you guys a little eat out uh, thing here. Mmm. Uh, mmm. Delicious. A little sweetness to those um, potato chips. Uh, it's excellent. Mmm. And then, you know, a nice ice cold beer. There you have it. I cannot uh, recommend this place enough or this brewery enough. If you live anywhere that has like a beer store that will get you beer, definitely see if you can get this kind of beer outside the state. I know it might be just like a regulation thing. Maybe they're only for sale here in Florida. I don't know. But you should check it out. What's up, boss? Good. How you doing? Um, if you come down to Florida, I know it's for sale everywhere in the state. Or if you come down like you go to Disney for vacation or whatever, you're definitely going to want to uh, check out. People are working. Um, check this beer out. Hey, what's up? My man, Dylan. Um, check it out. You guys are going to love it. And like I said, this uh, their uh, um, Budapest Marzan, excellent, excellent beer. I know, uh, Fonzie, when you watch this, when you get home from work, uh, you're gonna love, you'd like this beer. It's very good. Mm. Like I said, as far as the alcoholic proof, it's 6.2%. Not too shabby, you know. Throw a couple of those back on a hot summer day. Uh, you know, here in September, because it's still 90 degrees down here in Florida. It does look like a red... It's very good, Arch. Um, let me just take some of the condensation off. It's very nice. It has like, it doesn't have that red ale uh, taste to me. It really does have like more of a Belgian brown ale. So, it's got a little bit of that sweetness. It doesn't have like that Killian's red um, taste, which is fine because I, I do like Killian's red. But um, it does, it just has a really nice, crisp taste. You can see how clear it is, right? You can see my, my you, can see, you can see the handsome right through the glass, right? Oh, look at me. I look like I'm staying. This is a stained glass uh, Stugats. This is what should be in every church when you walk in. The stained glass Stugats hanging up on a wall. All right. Check them out. Um, they have a bunch of beer. I mean, I can show you the whole menu here if you wanted to. These are like the whole, the regular beers. They have one called the Triple Indy. I might be trying that one just, you know, because, you know, I'm a big Rodney fan, right? And then a bunch of stuff that's, you know, limited releases, which is just awesome, like The Last Snow, which, again, an awesome, awesome beer. No, exactly. Arch knows. Nothing obscures the handsome. It only Everything could just be brightened up by the handsome. Nothing could distill or obscure the handsome. So I'm going to go back to eating my uh, lunch and uh, drinking uh, another beer or two. What is up, Suzanne? Um, we're just having some lunch here and some awesome beer. Right? We're just relaxing. Drove on all, all the way over to the east coast of the state. Um, after we finish up here... Jen and I are going to go stick our feet in the Atlantic Ocean and pollute it a little bit, maybe. No, I don't. I don't do that. That's not nice. You shouldn't do that. You should get, always get, get out of the water and go to the bathroom. You savages. What's wrong with you? But uh, that's it. I'm going to wrap this up. Keep it quick because I want to uh, get back to drinking my beer. Right? You guys got to hit the like button. You see your beer. Check them out. Funky Buddha Brewery. Um, this is their uh, Budapest uh, Marzen. Mmm. 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 Oh man, Dylan from Ireland. I love that man. All right. You know, until next time, this is your Uncle Stugatz saying, keep banging, baby.